Hello Terraria Enthusiasts, my name is James and welcome back to the Calamity Mod. So, I'm starting today's episode off a little bit different than normal. Uh, I usually start up on the surface next to the pretty builds, or pretty pretty builds. Um, but I decided today to do things a little bit differently because there are a few things I want to chip away at today. And I thought if we can just jump straight into them, that's probably for the best. So, here's the first thing I want to chip away at, right? I know my name is Chippy, right? Can we just get that out of the way? I am saying chipping away a lot. Um, <laughs> it's very on brand. That's all right. Uh, but yeah, the first thing I want to chip away at is getting the boomstick. So I've been speaking about this for days. It's a, uh, a shotgun that's found in the jungle. Or maybe it's not. It is. Uh, but I keep forgetting that it is. And you guys have to keep helping me to remember, right? Which is not great. Uh, but for real though, I want to get the boomstick today because we saw that there was a weapon that could be crafted out of these new fancy uh, blocks and items that you can get from that new biome. I don't know what the biome's called. I've not looked it up yet, uh, but I will look it up eventually <laughs> and, and we will find out what it is. But anyway, um, you can make a new type of weapon from it. And I think considering yesterday was a, a bit of a smash, just uh, focusing on uh, making a, a cool weapon and stuff. I kind of want to go for that today because I really enjoyed it yesterday. It was nice to, to kick back, to chat, to make a weapon because, you know, if I'm playing Calamity again, I really want to take the time to, to find all the good new stuff. And so I can basically say, hey, I've seen that. I know what that is. Uh, and I'm also in the jungle for a second reason because of that. So I got this new weapon yesterday. And I admit it's not the best weapon because it's not the highest damage, especially compared to the, the rogue build we have at the minute. But I want to try a mage build to go along with it. So I can, at least I can say, hey, I tried a mage build. It's pretty good. So welcome back. I, uh, well, you know, I didn't have as bad of a day yesterday. I've had a pretty chill day today. Uh, I came onto the world actually earlier and I started building away because I asked you guys what I should make in my new town. And I think the most one that I saw was a clock tower. And I was looking at all these images of clock towers. And I was thinking, that's kind of good because you've got Big Ben. That's in London. Um, and I'm English. So I guess it's thematic in a way. Almost as thematic as saying chipping. Uh, but I, I couldn't think of a good way to build it with the blocks that we have available at the minute because I kept seeing a bunch of other people build it um, and they had much better blocks. So I was like, I'm going to do it when I get some better blocks. So I was like, what can I do that I can achieve? You know, it's all about like, you know, making micro builds and, and building off from there. So I decided to build a build inside of the mushroom biome and I'll show you that in a little bit. It's not so great, but I was really thinking about this and I was like, it's kind of like that episode and I don't know if I'm remembering this correctly, but it's kind of like the episode of, of Spongebob where Squidward is trying to make like a sculpture and he like chips away at it and he chips away at it and he chips away at it and it ends up being kind of ugly, right? And then I think Spongebob comes along and he, he does one quick tap and bam, he's got this uh, beautiful sculpture. That's kind of like me compared to every other person you could probably watch here on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> I'll chip away at it. It may not look beautiful, but at least I've, I've chipped away. Uh, so that's my logic. And uh, like I said, I'll show you that in a little bit. I think you're gonna, I think you're gonna like it. Now I can't remember if I, uh, if I brought this up yesterday, but I saw a really cool uh, mod. Well, it's kind of like a mod. It's not for Terraria, um, but it's for Mario Kart. I, I, this blew my mind. So I'd heard about these things called ROM hacks before, where people take an older game. Uh, and then they mod it so that it has extra content, but they keep it within the limits of the original hardware. So this was for Mario Kart DS, and I thought, okay, that makes me feel nostalgic because I loved Mario Kart DS growing up. I think it's a really good game. I think a lot of people would agree with that. Um, it had like a weight system to it, if I remember correctly. It's like the only one that ever did. So essentially, if you picked like a big kart, I think you could knock people further. I think that's the way it worked. You've got to remember I was a bit of a child when I knew about these games. And I really was. I think like, I was about 10 when I was really into Mario Kart DS. So I guess, I guess not too much of a child. I guess at 10, you're, you're pretty, you're on your way, right? You're, on, you're definitely on the way to success, right? But they, uh, they modded the game so that it had uh, Mario Kart levels from like Mater, later Mario, Mater. <laughs> Um, from late, isn't Mater like the name of like a really crummy robot out of the film Robots? <laughs> He's like Mater. Oh no, it's Cars, the Disney movie or the Pixar movie Cars. That's who Mater is. 
All right, anyway, <laughs> but from later Mario Kart games. And I was like, this is amazing. So I was like testing it out today and I was like, this is really good. I'd love to make a video on this. And then I thought about it and I was like, Nintendo would take that down immediately. Like they always do with ROM hacks. Um, <laughs> oh, it's a flare gun. It's a flare gun. But yeah, I want to tell you about it. It's called Mario Kart Deluxe. Uh, maybe I will show it, you know, sometime. It's, it's good though. It's really interesting. Um, I love it when people make stuff like that. And then talking about mods, I watched a um, a breakdown. There's a series by the Oxcast called Today I Played. It's uh, it's Terps and Lewis, and they essentially break down what they played uh, that day, right? It's like a, a daily... It's It almost serves as like a mini vlog, where it's just talking about whatever games are being played. But it is really like a, a mini glimpse into to what they do. Like, they show you a lot of the... Uh, the office and stuff like that and I, I imagine a lot of people find that really interesting having had the privilege of being there <laughs> I, I you know i don't get that same satisfaction but it's great but anyway i, I was listening to this review of um a modded version of minecraft where you get like surrounded by a bunch of stone and then you have to hit the stone and get pebbles and then you have to turn those pebbles into something else and that turns into something else and I was really getting a craving for it. I haven't played modded Minecraft since I was like, uh, I don't know, I want to say about 14, 15 years old. It was a long time ago. Back then, the only uh, one that you would play is called... It wasn't called... It might have been called Tech It. Industrial Craft. That's what it was called. That's what everyone played. I played it. It was great. And I really got this like deep craving. I've got five extra life crystals. I really got this deep craving to play it. So I think I'm going to look into it and learn how to play Minecraft again just to try it out and I'll let you know of my adventures if I uh, if I eventually set it up I'll I'll bring it up again all right the the search for the boomstick is very very slow <laughs> it's not going great so I'm gonna linger around my world for a little bit longer uh, I'm gonna try and find this boomstick but hey if I don't find it I will find something else to move on to because I don't like getting stuck on a project when it takes this long. But I also have to farm away for uh, a bunch of other stuff. So I guess I'm just going to go do that. Whee! Look at that. Nice. A staunch boomstick. Hell yeah. So looking at my like recording software, the time, I'm trying to figure out how long it took me to find this. About five minutes. So that I'm actually happy with. Five minutes is fine. Any longer, I would have called the whole thing off. Because oh my god. Um, do we continue looking? I guess there's no else I really want to look for. I don't know if I have the right amount of ingredients. So, uh, two vines. I don't know if I've got enough spores. <laughs> I might collect a few more spores real quick and then uh, we'll, we'll join back up. I'll make my mage build and we'll also make a new weapon. And then, I don't know what weapon type this is. Is it archery or... Okay, it, I don't know. We'll find out in a minute and we'll, we'll maybe make a build around that too. All right, so I'm assuming I might have some more jungle spores. So let's put those away. Okay, yeah, I do. Right, so putting away some accessories because I don't need these on me. Uh, and I've been putting these inside of building. Now potions, you can have this, this, and... I'm going to put that there. I'm going to keep my recall as well because recall are actually really decent. And in terms of crafting, so I want my vines. I want my... Well, I'm going to need all of this stuff. Whatever whatever new stuff I've got, I'm going to need. And I'm also going to need uh, a stinger, some spores. Is that all the stingers I've got? Four? No. Do I not have any more? <laughs> I thought I'd loads. Let's, uh, let's see. Can I put any of these away? Is that it? Four stingers. Oh, that's probably not enough for anything. Yeah, it's not. <laughs> all right. Okay, well... Forget about that build for now. So this is what it is. It's the Aqua Shard Shotgun. It's 12 range damage. Uh, it shoots Aqua Shards, which split upon hitting an enemy. So I don't know a really good range of build for this point of the game, truthfully. Uh, but let's buy some bullets. So let's get a bunch of musket balls. Uh, and let's put them here. Let's test this out. Oh, does it not, does it not use ammo? Shoots aqua shards. Oh, it shoots my... Oh, right. Okay, for some reason I thought one of the weapons might be called aqua shards. What's this? Deer blood. Okay, how good are you? Uh, it's not bad, but I wouldn't say it's great. 
Yeah, that's consistently not as good as this. <laughs> so there's definitely some uh, some balancing issues there. Yeah, I don't know if that's as good, truthfully, even if you're hitting both at the same time. I mean, once again, comparing it to... I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you think that's good or... I'm kind of struggling to see the, the goodness. All right, let's, uh, let's check out the chess piece because I'm wondering why can't we make a chess piece? So... You need 10 stingers. <laughs> yeah, that's a bit of a problem. Right, I'm going to go farm for some stingers. I want to make a mage build. And then we might do a boss. I don't know which one we're going to do. I think we might do the Eater of Worlds. Just to just to test out our, uh, our magical abilities. And I'm also going to need to make some buffs, come to think of it. So, I'm going to need to get some Day Bloom. And I'm also going to need a bunch of Fallen Stars. Right, let's, let's test this out, actually. So, I need to leave behind two. So, one, two, three... And that takes us up to 120. I can't remember exactly how many you can have. I feel like it's a little bit more than that. But that's all right for now. Let me grab some Daybloom. Because I am going to make some uh, some magey potions. So grab these bad boys. Uh, did I get any seeds? I got 10 seeds. Nice. Okay, awesome. So let's make some magey potions. I have got some 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 bottled water. I always get confused which ones you need. So alchemy station's down here. Right, that's mana regen and that's mana power. So that's both of them. That's perfect. That's literally what I need for uh, for a magey build. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go farm away. And I'll meet up with you guys in a minute. Okay, I've got everything I need. Uh, so I started watching a new show last night. I'm going to recommend it to you guys. It's called The Umbrella Academy. I checked it out on Netflix. It's good, right? It's, it's actually really good. So it's about these, um, these like, siblings that live together. And they live together because this old man noticed that a bunch of women gave birth out of nowhere, right? There's, like, a bunch of these women. They all give birth on the same day, uh, but none of them were pregnant beforehand. And so he has this idea that they may be gifted. So he buys a bunch of them, and he sticks them in this little mansion... And, uh, and it's kind of about their endeavors uh, as adults. It's very good. I would recommend it. That's probably about as much as you need to get going. That's literally the first five minutes, if that. But uh, it's very funny. It's got Robert Sheehan in it. Robert Sheehan is this, like, Irish actor. He plays this character called Klaus, in case you've already watched it. And he was in a show called Misfits. And that's such an underrated show. That's another show about uh, about superheroes. But it's so good. And he really stole the show in that. Oh, it was so good. I showed it to Python the other week. Python watched the whole show after I showed him the once. Alright, so here's our Meiji build. Now let's see. It is a good build. I actually like that damage. It's pretty good, like testing it on an enemy. Uh, I guess it's not... A, I don't know. I'm kind of torn about it. I don't know if it's good or... <laughs> or I'm just like wanting to like it so much. What do you guys think? Do you think it's decent or or no? Hmm. I'm really torn about this because I want to use it for a boss fight. Now, I was thinking about what boss fight we could do. And here's the one I've got in mind. So let me grab some buffs. So regen, iron skin. I'll get mana regen and mana power. And that should be that should be good enough. The only problem with rogue I've noticed is that rogue, um, well, it's not very good in the sense of, like, there, there's only two pre-hard mode armors for it. One's really hard to get, so this is kind of your uh, your maximum. Right, now let me have a look. Have I got any mushrooms left over? Alright, I've got 38. I don't know if it's 40 you might need for this uh, for this boss, because we might do Krabulon. Because uh, Krabulon is kind of next on the list. So let's see, alright. Despacito Sprout. <laughs> We're all good to go. All right, let's get out of here. So this is actually going to lead into something really good because I'm going to be able to show you my uh, my mushroom build. I don't know if you guys are going to like it, but uh, I tried. I tried. I actually made it in the area I said I would make it as well. And I used some of the sapphires to make a, uh, a bunch of blue torches. Like, I know they're not orange, right? I've got to build in the, in the bee biome to get that orange torch goodness. But I think you guys are going to like this. And this is what I mean by, like, slowly chipping away at the world. There's such a nice little route to it as well. 
Like, oh my god. <laughs> I like that there's just a, a clear little tunnel. Like, it's clearly not in an area that we're going to see very often. But, here it is, right? It's very dark. And then, boom! It's just, it, I don't know. It's kind of a bog standard house. I get that. But, I also added these little mushrooms to it. I'll show you in a second. I added these little mushrooms here. <laughs> my voice went. Yeah, I added these little mushrooms. And, uh, and I think it fleshed it out a little bit. Right, let's uh, let's build it out. So I want to have a platform available to me. Uh, for uh, let's go like that, and then like this. As long as we've got enough area to maneuver, I honestly don't care. So I will come back and get rid of these platforms eventually. But I think doing it in this area makes more sense, considering it's like a thematic episode. We've built this, and now we use it. Okay, so I'm going to add another column here, and this is going to hopefully allow me to dodge some of the attacks. Truthfully, I don't know if this is a good biome to really do it in, but, well, it's the only biome we could do it in. I don't know if it's a good, a good setup, but I'm just going to wing with it, because why not? Uh, I could do with some light. <laughs> the thematic blue, very thematic, but also very blue. Dabba dee dabba da. Okay, uh, let's get some campfires. Let's get two of these bad boys. I should have used my... Uh, I had chains as well, literally two seconds ago. I should have used those to make heart lanterns. So I'm going to go with mage to begin with. I'm going to turn on auto-pause. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll use my mage build. And if that goes wrong, we'll swap over to uh, to rogue. Okay, where's my Despacito sprout? All right, Krabulon. Oof, I love the Krabulon music. I'm definitely a Krabulon fan for that one reason. Okay, so if I remember correctly, it starts off nice and easy with these little uh, things coming out to attack you. And when it comes to adrenaline, though, this is not going to be a fight we get adrenaline on. It's definitely going to be a fight that we use Rage on. Which is good, because we haven't used Rage once <laughs> in this entire series. So I'm looking forward to that. Ooh. Yeah, it's the, it's the Spore Strikes. This is one of these bosses that's changed so much since uh, I very first played, like... It started with the sprite. He actually looks more like a crab now. And I'm only just noticing this now, that he's got claws. He's got crabby claws. That like, hasn't he? He's literally got crab claws. Okay... Uh, right, my rage is almost full. I'm almost, like, excited to get hit. <laughs> I'm like a masochist. I'm like, hit me! <laughs> oh, I feel a lot better, by the way. I was meant to mention this. Uh, I was mentioning... Oh, I was kind of complaining yesterday about this allergy medicine knocking me out, making me feel rattled. So it did make me feel rattled for the rest of the day after recording, because I recorded that episode pretty early in the day. Uh, but I, I, I feel a lot better, so I'm definitely allergic to something, right? I'm kind of glad I figured this out, because I get ill all the time, and now I'm wondering if it was always just allergies. But you all uh, recommended some uh, some new type of medication, right? I thought this was interesting. Somebody explained how allergy medicine works. And I was like, that seems logical enough not to Google. But I got a lot of recommendations for uh, for this, like, allergy medicine that you take, like... And it takes a little bit longer to work, but it doesn't have the side effects and stuff. Alright, I'm really cheesing this fight. I don't mean to. Can my rage hurry up as well? Alright, I don't want to get hurt too much because I don't actually want to die. Alright, come on. I'm going to get my rage up. Just fill my rage up. There we go. Come on. Is it done? Alright. Here we go. Oh, it's a rageful attack. And there we go. Crabulon is done. So I got some more magnum rounds. I didn't realize this was a thing that Calamity even offered. Yeah, magnum rounds. I don't get why you get it at the end of every fight. Is this something that you can do with magnum rounds? Are they like... Ridic yeah, 80 damage. <laughs> 7 damage. Oh, I get it. So it's like if you want like a head start on something, you can use these. So, opening this up, we get a mushroom... Mushroom plasma root. So it permanently makes rage mode do 15% more damage. I'll take that. Uh, we got the fungal clump. Now, I'm pretty uh, sure you all know that I'm a big fan of the, uh, the fungal clump. We got the micro root, the throwing one. And we also got mycelial claws. Very nice. 
Crabulon, a crab and its mushrooms. A love story. It's interesting how creatures can adapt given certain circumstances. <laughs> sure. Right, so anyway, I think that's going to do it for today. Uh, I've had a lot of fun. It's been good. Uh, I I'm glad I got the boomstick because that was really priority number one. Uh, I'm disappointed though. I wish it was a little bit better. Maybe I'm using it wrong. Uh, maybe there's a secret method of, of getting the best uh, use out of it. I don't know. But uh, I'll end it there. Right, so thank you all so much for watching today's episode. If you did enjoy it, please be sure to give it a big fat thumbs up. A like rating goes a long way. And that's going to do it. See you all tomorrow, guys. Peace.